We made black paint from the leftover bones of our chicken dinner. All it took was a little bit of fire, a little bit of bone crushing, and a little bit of patience to make professional grade black paint. Who wrote this intro? We don't have patience. And don't forget about the wasps. All right, it's time to open the grill up and see what kind of waspy things are in there. Are uh, you gonna do it? No, you're gonna do it. She's that. not gonna do it. There are some in the tray. Yep, they're in there. Yeah, no, you do not look brave. I, I can do it for you. Ah! Oh, then there's the one right there. So we're going to make our own blackest black possible to make in a grill. And, and I don't know if you've Ooh, seen our paint making gloss. abilities. Fire! Stop. Chicken bones. Y'all, this is the beginning of the blackest of black paints. Cook bones at, oh my God, hot for unspecified amount of time. I don't know, this is what the internet told me to do. And I believe everything the internet tells me. Because we're making black, there is a story I need to tell you. There's this huge feud going on around the blackest black paint. I know what you're thinking. How black can black paint get anyway? None. So this all started with Vanta Black and this guy named Anish Kapoor. What do we think of Anish Kapoor, Harper? He sucks. Vanta Black is this black material that absorbs 99.965% of all visible light. Somehow, Anish managed to get the exclusive rights to use Vanta Black, which means no other artist in the world could ever use the blackest black. Enter our hero, Stuart Simple. Stuart was so angry that he retaliated by making the world's pinkest pink. It's pink. And in order to buy it on the website, you have to agree to terms at checkout that you are not Anish Kapoor and you are in no way affiliated with Anish Kapoor because he didn't want Anish Kapoor to get his hands on it. Now, of course, Anish did get his grubby little paws on it, and that just made Stuart get together with a bunch of his own scientists to try and work on uh, making the world's blackest black that the consumer can buy. And he succeeded. So Stuart created Black 2.0, and then he made Black 3.0 after that. And you might be thinking, Psh, whatever, that's not all that different. I don't know if you can see the differences here, but this is 2.0 and this is 3.0. Well, let's make some paint. big one. Part of the wishbone. Make a wish and crush it up. Okay. Nice. Oh, it's so satisfying. I think I have a piece of chicken bone in my eye. <laughs> it, it does not smell nice over here. Maybe we should put masks on. Okay. You can see the outline of the ring. Okay. This could be really cool for like a textured paint. Look, I have our test cards. But way better than what we did before. We're getting better. I don't know how paint makers have the patience. It's brown, not black, mom. Shh. But look, it's blacker than some of these other blacks. It's definitely better than our other paint. Heck yeah. Sweet. Now we have another one for our collection. Now, when we're talking about the paints that you can buy, you can only get so black. What makes black 3.0 so much blacker than other black acrylic paints is the mattifiers that are used inside of it. The matte effect comes from the surface that you create. So if the surface is perfectly smooth and flat, then the light's gonna come in and bounce out at the same angle. And you have a mirror. If sunlight is scattered when it bounces off of the surface, then you get a glossy look and you see what's called a specular reflection. If the reflecting light is scattered in all directions when it comes off of the surface, then you get this matte effect. And that's usually from having a rough surface, albeit at a really small scale. Now that's what Black 3.0 takes advantage of, Moselle Black, Vanta Black, they all have a rough surface at a very small scale. And that's why 
airbrushing these paints makes them look even blacker. Shh. I'm gonna try and make black pigment in the second batch to see if we can make it better. I ordered some chicken bones from the internet. Ew. Well, I mean, it's slightly charred. Why does everything I do have to smell horrible? I don't wanna make another fire. Harper thinks of this paint. I have something I need to show you. I want your honest review of this acrylic paint. I made it. I burned some more bones. Are you waiting? Yeah. But I want you to try it out and give your honest review. It's thick. It's, it's so black. It's totally not brown. You know what I think it looks like? What? It looks like you're spreading poop. Perfection. <laughs> yep, so that went. If you want to see that blue paint one, go check that out. I'm Steffi. I'm the um, Harper. And until next time, just stay curious. <laughs>